When the last spike was hammered into the steel track of the Transcontinental Railroad on May 10, 1869 in Utah, Western Union Lines sounded the glorious news of the railroad's completion from New York to San Francisco. The August edition of Godet's Ladies Book reported no women had laid a rail and no women had made a survey. Although the physical task of building the railroad had been achieved by men, women made significant and lasting contributions to the historic operation. Women performed a variety of duties from telegraph operator to mechanic to inventors of the modern-day refrigerator car and devices for axle brakes. They were railroad presidents and passenger car architects. They provided services essential to the efficiency and effectiveness of the business and transformed the railways from an industrial tool of hauling material and equipment to a refined means of travel. Iron Women the ladies who helped build the railroad. The new book by New York Times bestselling author Chris Enns is the story of the women who provided services essential to the railroad business and transformed the railways from an industrial tool of hauling material and equipment to a refined means of travel. Iron Women, the ladies who helped build the railroad by Chris Enns is available in bookstores everywhere.